Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Crowley House Flower Farm. This week we did, or a couple weeks ago actually, it wasn't this week. It feels like this week because all my weeks blend together. We did a corporate design and I took some video of it and I didn't put it in because it was just kind of a short video of us doing a corporate design. And, but then Brayden's like, you know, mom, you should probably just, you know, put it up as one of our extra videos of the week. So Braden worked on it and put together this little video um, for you guys to see kind of what we do behind the scenes in some of our other events, not so much weddings, but a corporate event. So what I love about corporate events is that usually the company will give you some sort of design that they want. They'll maybe say, hey, we've got a big stage. This is what's going on. We have so many tables. Our corporate colors are this. And then they say, and here's how much do you want for that? And then you tell them, okay, well, we, these are the price points and you kind of do your little bit. And then, you know, they're like, here's the check. And I love that because a lot of times with weddings and things, we kind of go back and forth. We come up with a design. It's a little more in depth details. Things change with, um, corporate It's pretty much cut and dry. They say, this is the feel that we want. This is the look we want. Let's keep it really simple. And we go from there. So I like them in the way that I can kind of design um, around what we have here on the farm. I get a little more creative freedom with them. The only challenge with corporate is that generally there's a lot of tables. And in this case, there was, I think, 65 tables. We're used to doing this here on the farm. We do a lot of corporate events. I don't always show those, but this one was really pretty. It was up in Portland. Uh, the colors were black, white, and red. And so I kind of took the colors from the shades of red to burgundy, even kind of a brighter red, kind of pulled all those colors to a deep red, almost an orangey red, and then cream and white. So it turned out really, really well. The one thing, this company was from Texas and it was actually my cousin who is part of this company and she knew that we did this. They were coming to Portland. She's like, I know that you live a little ways away from Portland. And I'm like, yeah, we're an hour and 15 minutes, uh, but we do design work all the time up in Portland. So she's like, hey, would you mind doing my company's retreat? And we're like, sure, we do this all the time, happy to do it. And so it was really fun to work with her too. So this company, their only request was that we use everything in season, everything from small local growers. And most of it came from our farm. We bought in a few things. Um, some of the growers up in the Portland area had um, some different dahlias in the shades of reds we were looking for and a few other things. So we were able to use all Pacific Northwest grown, locally grown stuff, and that was their request, which is really kind of cool because over the years, uh, it used to be that corporations really didn't think about it too much, uh, where the flowers are coming from. And now they are, and it's really cool because then we get included in that uh, we have several coming up. One of them is going to be for a big international um, Chardonnay event that's coming up. And I'm looking forward to putting that one together because it is fall and beautiful and oh, I'm so excited. And there's several layers to it. It's not only a beautiful centerpiece for one of their dinners, but we're doing also some like little bud vases and things like that that are going to be for different events like a luncheon and the hotel is gonna have us also be putting together something for their front desk. So it's really kind of fun, the layers that go in with corporate events and the creative freedom that I get for it from doing those. So it's really, really, um, really, really nice where a wedding, um, when we're designing, it's a little bit more, you know, this is the vision the bride has. We get to take it and be a little creative with it, but we also keep in line with what they want. And um, we're corporate. We just got free reign for the most part. <laughs> so anyways, here's the video, the little video that I shot of it. And again, with this one, we weren't able to set it up. They wanted us to put everything into a room. So unfortunately, I don't get the end results. They, they did shoot a few videos. I'm not sure if Braden can find them or if we can get them to work. Maybe they just did a couple photos to me. So it's not super great. Uh, I'll see if I can pop one somewhere. I don't know if he can do it or not, but <laughs> anyways, uh, I hope you enjoy this. So the colors for this design is red, black, and white because that is the colors 
of the um, business and that's what they wanted. It's really hard. Obviously we have no black flowers. So what we're doing is bringing in some of this nine bark, which is really, really fun. And that gives us that black feel, kind of moody. We have just some larkspur, some amaranth in the deep, and I still have to add the red in. So I'm kind of mixing both the red and the burgundy together with the white so it looks a little bit more classic, I guess. I don't really like the look of just red and white. Somebody asked me to do a, a red and white carnation design. I'm like, I can't do that. I don't even grow them. So this is kind of what we're coming up with. It's really, really pretty. We have for the foliage, just a little viburnum. We've got that going. And then we have some cinna geranium, the nine bark, and that's kind of it. We're gonna have some blackberry in it as well. They wanted a Pacific Northwest vibe to it. This company is from Texas, so they very much wanted, uh, which is really cool because they're asking us to design something that is just from a local farm. So it's nice that corporations are kind of getting the memo that, hey, there's little, little folks like us that do uh, grow a lot of our own flowers and design as well. So that's cool. So I'm by myself uh, working on this design and Riley and Emma both helped me yesterday. We got all the centerpieces done, which was the hardest part. It's more of an assembly line when it's like this, not like a wedding where you can just like, you know, uh, you have to take some time. I mean, corporate stuff you do have to take your time with, but there's more of an assembly line for it. And uh, so we got all the centerpieces done yesterday. Um, I have to add in just a little bit of Snapdragon to it. We felt like it needed a little more white. We had our white Lysianthus that we grew and our Cynodranium, a lot of um, blackberry in it. We thought that would be very Pacific Northwest. Uh, this is the thornless blackberry that we cut. And what else? On these big guys behind me, they look huge in my studio, but as I've done a lot of events where it's on a stage and they just disappear. So we're gonna be taking some things with us because I can't fit them into my car, even though it's pretty tall. We have to add to them when we get to the hotel and to the room that we're designing. So um, that's one thing that you're always thinking about when you're doing a design for a corporation where it's on a stage or something like that. It just has to be absolutely ginormous and um, obviously more than what I can do here in my studio, so. some of our lisianthus didn't get netted in time so when that happens they get a little bit floppy when they're in a greenhouse but what happens well this one's pretty straight but i love the character that it forms so i might not be able to sell it to the wholesalers but i can use it in our design work and this does a beautiful cascade i'll show you kind of when i'm done here of just kind of cascading over the vase. So anytime that you have something that doesn't turn out perfectly, uh, I think sometimes it's better. So next I'm gonna be adding in just some limelight hydrangeas. I love how these are turning out and I think it just needs a little bit of a, a little bit of something something. So I've already rehydrated them or hydrated them really well and then I'm gonna pop them in.
hope you enjoyed that little snippet of what we did a couple weeks ago for that corporate design. I thought it turned out amazing, beautiful. It was fun to do, uh, big scale. So uh, that was a little bit of a challenge. I always have to think in the back of my head, like what the size of everything. And so actually when we got to that venue, we actually added in big branches to the big stage arrangements just to make sure we were filling the stage because sometimes you do those big events and you think you have this huge arrangement that's in your studio and you get there and it just gets swallowed up by the stage. So it is a little tricky and we've done a lot of corporate events so I kind of learned this the hard way <laughs> over the years. Um, so we made sure just because we weren't setting it up just to make sure to add in that extra oomph it needed. So we put in some branches. I think we did curly willow from one of our curly willow trees. But yeah, it turned out wonderful. They were so happy and thrilled. It actually looked stunning. There were so many flowers that people were so wowed by it. I was actually kind of wowed by it just because there's this massive amount of flowers and it's just gorgeous. But anyways, okay, well that's it for today's video. I hope you will join us Sunday. We always release a, a video around 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time here. This week is gonna be kind of fun. Riley's got a little project she's gonna be sharing with you. It's really kind of cool um, and she's, she's just excited about it, but it'll be all a little bit different this coming Sunday. So, well, if you haven't subscribed and you haven't liked this video or left us a comment, we would love to hear from you. Give us a big thumbs up and we will see you this coming Sunday back here at Crowley House. So much success in all you do and grow and we'll be seeing you shortly. Bye-bye.